Omaha, Papillion, Des Moines, and across the country via the Schrock Desk, this is Compute This. Good morning, folks, and welcome in to Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Thanks for being with us this morning. I know it's early. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Why do we still do this? I, I don't know. But uh, I've got a great show planned for you today. I stayed up extra late last night getting it all ready for you so you'd have something to look forward to this morning. All right, so first off, uh, if you missed last week's program, last week we introduced you to the all-new 2021 Ultimate Upgrade Laptop and Desktop on sale now at Schrock. We'll talk about that during the program here in a little bit. Uh, warned you about all the email scams that are going to be hitting your inbox as a result of this Microsoft Exchange Server hack. Um, you don't run an Exchange Server? Oh, it doesn't apply to me. It's going to come to your inbox, and it's going to come soon, especially with all these stimmy checks hitting. Um, people have money, so the bad guys are going to go after the money. They didn't get a stimulus check. Like most business owners, they didn't get a stimulus check. So, you know, they're going to go after your stimulus check. <laughs> so, uh, and that's, you know, honestly, that's where the stimmy checks usually end up is at businesses, right? That's the whole idea. Um, unless, of course, you're going to go buy some more GameStop, and then, you know, well, that's where it's going to end up there. Or Bitcoin, uh, hitting an all-time high uh, this weekend, sixty almost $62,000 a coin. Uh, so, of course, during the aftershock, I'm sure we'll be talking about Bitcoin there as well. Uh, we warned you last week uh, about two new ransomware infections that were creeping around networks. This was a really important story. And, you know, afterwards when I re-listened to the show, I don't think I explained why that story was so, so important, so vital. <clears throat> the... When a ransomware infection crawls through your network, it infects any device it can come across. It infects laptops, desktops, all-in-ones, tablets. Um, and all it has to have to get into your network is one point of vulnerability. So if you have antivirus on all of your laptops and desktops and everything, I'm good to go, and you don't have it on your phones, you're not good to go. If you have it on just the computers you use for important things, but not the kids' computers, you are not good to go. You're just as vulnerable. You may as well not spend any money on it at all because it, it's pointless. It's going to get into your network, and eventually, if you, you know, if you leave the front door open long enough in a bad neighborhood, eventually somebody comes through the door, and that, that's what's going to happen. Uh, so it's one of those things. I should have explained that a little more bluntly, I think. I was like, oh, here's these new ransomware infections. They creep through your network. Isn't that nasty? Next on the program, you know you got to secure every point of your network. That's the whole point of that. Also, we told you last week about a Chrome patch, another one, second one, uh, second week in a row, that Google Chrome had issued a critical uh, patch for something that was being actively exploited. Um, as Google Chrome becomes and, and maintains its position as the number one web browser on the Internet, guess what? Just like everything else that everybody uses, whether it's Windows, whether it's WordPress, it gets attacked. And it gets attacked a lot more than other browsers. You might be surprised how much safer you can be by switching to Edge. Uh, Edge is Chrome. Now, the, the Edge browser is the exact same technology. If it runs on Google Chrome, it will run on Edge. It will run just as well. It will run exactly the same as the designers intended it to, except you don't have to have all the vulnerabilities that come along with running Chrome. Uh, so it's really a unique situation where you can use the same tech but have better protection. So that's pretty cool there. All right, so on the program today, guys. Oh, by the way, if you if you missed last week's show, if you're like, oh, man, it was such a great show. I wish I would have caught that one. You still can. It's not too late. You can bounce over to Facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations and scroll down the timeline there a little bit. You'll find it. Uh, if you don't do Facebook, you can go over to our website, SchrockInnovations.com. You can check it out there. It's available in the Apple iTunes store as a podcast. Also, it's free, by the way. Also, you can watch it on Rumble or YouTube, your choice. 888-250-2091. That's the number to join us on the program today. If you have any problem with your computer or a question about something that's not working the way you want it to, I encourage you to give us a call, ask a question, make a general comment. If you were in the service center and you had a good experience or a bad one, you know, let me know about that so I can fix it if it was bad. If it was good, let me know about it so I don't just hear about the bad ones. Because you can get down, you know. <laughs> you're like, oh, it's so sad. And then it's like you know, 100 people call you the next day and you're like, oh, I had a great experience. And you're like, oh, okay, I guess it's just an isolated thing. Um, I actually had to write a letter to a customer uh, the other day. Um, she actually hung up on me. 
It was a it was a rough conversation. So if I have time here later in the program, or maybe during the aftershock, I will I'll go into that one. But uh, she was not happy with her computer purchase. Um, that the things she wasn't happy about were going to be things in any computer purchase, and I was trying to help her through those things, and she didn't she didn't there was. We didn't connect. Let's put it that way. We did not connect despite my best efforts. So um, rather than trying to call someone back who just hung up on you, you know, anyone who's ever had a woman hang up on them before, you don't call right back. You, you, you let it sit for a bit, okay? Uh, and then, you know, so I was like, you know what? And she, she kept talking about how she was 80 years old and she doesn't understand the technology. Um, she was upset. I think uh, one of the big things she was upset about was that the computer didn't come with a touchscreen. Um I, I sat down with my technicians after the fact, and literally they're like, Thor, we, we asked her, is the touchscreen a big deal for you? And I'm like, and she's saying she's 80 years old, and she didn't know what that question meant. Um, so we need to be a little more specific. We need to, do you need a touchscreen? Or are you okay without, are you okay without a touchscreen? Um, and the guy's kind of, you know, okay, you know, I get it. It's just like when they ask me to say on the radio, please don't let the Microsoft scammer remote into your computer. Every week we get a call. I wish Thor would say something on the radio so I would have known not to let this Microsoft scammer guy come into my computer. You know, <laughs> you, you do what you can do. But uh, but nevertheless, you know, it was one of those things where it's like, okay, let's sit down and write a letter. And it's been a long time. My hand was cramping up. It's been a long time since I've written a page and a half handwritten letter to somebody. Uh, and then I had to, do we have any stamps? Like, the 20th century is calling. Hello, where are your stamps? I'm like, I don't have any stamps. We could go down to the grocery store and buy a book of stamps. Wow, stamps are expensive. Okay, well, you know, I guess, you know, somebody is actually hand delivering this letter to somebody else. I mean, how much would you pay, you know, Uber Eats to do that? So I guess a stamp is a pretty good value. <laughs> but gee whiz, you know, gee willikers, that's a lot for stamps. You know, during the whole pandemic, everybody started paying everything online, right? You know, it's like you don't really need stamps anymore. Ah, uh, it was it was one of those days. So we'll tell you all about that situation during the aftershock here. Uh, by the way, if you don't know, the aftershock is a, a little mini show that we do after this show on Facebook. At, it's at facebook.com slash shrock innovations. And again, if you don't do Facebook, you can still watch it after the fact on our website at shrock innovations.com. Now, I keep mentioning shrock innovations.com. Um, that's our website where you can shop for new computers. You can find uh, answers to most common questions in our do-it-yourself section. Uh, you can watch previous shows, you know, basically cre- you know, partake of any of the content that we create. It's a pretty cool place to go. Now, if you prefer to do business in person, which some, I mean, I guess it's a weird thing because during the whole pandemic lockdown situation, we saw customers during that period of time. And so for us, we're sitting here thinking, you know, this is, you know, you know, it's kind of normal, I guess, uh, in a way, because, you know, customers are coming in. Of course, we're all being, we have ropes up and there's X's on the floor and everyone's got a mask on and, you know, they would say hand sanitizer everywhere. Hands are all dry and cracked, uh, you know, doing everything. How is it that opening a wound in your hand can make you safer? I don't understand that. Anyway, uh, it's like bleeding you. I don't know. Uh, so, you know, we're like, we got used to that normal, right? And now I'm getting phone calls from customers who just got their second immunization shot. And they're like, I'm so, I am so excited to come in and see you. My computer has been running so poorly. And I'm like, you've been in your house since last March? You haven't left for anything? Wow. You know, I, those people are out there, guys. And it's, it's going if, to, if, as a business owner, you're like, oh, my gosh, there's so many people that we need to help here. Uh, we need to find a way to identify those people that didn't come out of their house until they were immunized and make sure that they get that maintenance. So I had a customer email me last night. She had a prepaid maintenance certificate that expired because uh, we do computer maintenance at Schrock. You know, we've, we fix computers, but we also keep them running, especially if they're Schrock computers, because if you maintain those modular PCs and solid state laptops, They'll last you four to six years. It's not like the 18-month computers you get from Dell and HP. Uh, and if you maintenance those, they last longer, but they don't last four to six years. Now, we can go inside and replace a few parts and make that happen, and it's fun times. But, uh, um, it, it's it, oh, it's the best, guys. You, when you are in the service centers, uh, whether you're in Lincoln, Omaha, Papillion, or Des Moines, and you replace someone's hard drive with a solid-state drive or add some memory or do a maintenance check – and their computer is 25 to 400% faster than it was before. In Des Moines last week on Monday, I had a customer that had me, he came in to have a hard drive replacement. He drove from the Iowa-Minnesota border to the Des Moines Service Center to have this done. And he was going to leave it and go home. 
and come back to pick it up when it was done. And I just looked at him and I'm like, you're going to drive back to Minnesota and then why don't you find something to do in Des Moines? You know, there's lots of great stores. There's some coffee shops here, you know, some great, some great like bar and grill things. Go get some lunch, go get yourself a cup of coffee, you know, let me just do this for you. So you don't have to drive to Minnesota and drive back. Let me just get it done. Okay. So I took it in the back and I cloned it over before we started his computer took over two and a half minutes to boot. That's from power button press to the first appearance of icons on the screen. After we were done working on it, what did we do? We did a uh, solid state drive, of course. Uh, we increased his computer's memory a little bit to give it a little more, uh, a little more quickness. Uh, and then we did maintenance. Oh my gosh, there was a lint blanket in there, like you wouldn't believe, uh, that was blocking the fans, keeping the air off the processor, so it was slowing itself down to keep cooler. Um, you know, so we went through, we did all the maintenance on there, got all the problems in the registry fixed, made sure there was no malware, did all these checks. Sat it on the front desk for him when we were done. And this, I love doing this. And we say, well, let's do this. Let's watch this. So I shut it all the way down so it was all the way off. It was cold. And I pushed the power button. I said, one 1,000, two 1,000. We got to eight. And it was booted. And he, <laughs> the grown man giggled. He giggled. It was like, oh, that's fast. I was like, yeah, isn't that amazing how much quicker and fast it is? And to think you were going to replace this seven-year-old laptop. You didn't need to. When should you replace a computer? We talked about that last week. Uh, you replace a computer when it no longer can do the things you need it to do safely. Or when you're tired of it, I guess. If you get a STEMI check and you're tired of your computer, we're here for you. But there's really, we're, we're, we're going to recommend a replacement unless you need one, right? Uh, so it's pretty cool. All right, so today, coming up on the program, the ultimate upgrade sale is roaring along. We still have some units available. The laptop is proving to be more popular than the desktop. Um, not really surprised by that, given the improvements in the laptop uh, over last year's model. Um, the desktop, however, is, is selling. You know, that's, that We were a little worried at first because I had 20 desktops, parts all laid out for them that the guys are building, and we just kept selling laptops. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to be stuck with these 20 desktops. Like, I thought I didn't have enough. And then about midweek, the desktop people started coming out of the caves, and it was like, okay, here we go. But uh, whew, that was a close one. But uh, during the ultimate upgrade, you can trade in any old, tired, worn-out computer toward the purchase of a brand-new computer from Schrock. It's like you're getting almost $100 in credit in trade-in value for your trade. Now, that trade-in value, there was some confusion last week, is already baked into the discounted price at $499. Normally, these computers would be $600 but they're only $4.99 after your trade at Schrock Innovations. This is going to go on while supplies last or through uh, April 2nd, I believe, because we didn't want to end it on April 1st because that would just be a joke. Um, so let's, you know, April April 4th. It's going to go through April 4th. So you've got about uh, uh, three weeks left to go here. Uh, or, like I said, while supplies last, once they're gone, we're going to try to get more, but I can't guarantee you that we'll be able to given the chip shortage that's going on. Uh, back to basics. My wife talked to me yesterday, and she said, you know, one thing that you should probably do on the radio show is, you know, you've had listeners who have been with you for 20 years, and the, the general knowledge among those listeners has grown dramatically to the point where the, the simple basic stories are simple and basic to them, but now you're in new markets, and you have new listeners coming in that haven't heard 20 years worth of the simple basics. So we should do a few once in a while, whenever we have a slow news week like we have today where there's not a ton of new viruses and threats. I mean, a lot of developments on old ones, nothing really interesting that I'd want to talk about on the air. We should do a back to basics segment. So I was driving through Shadow Lake Mall in Papillion, and I noticed they were putting up 5G towers on the light poles. Now, I'm not talking about like, you know, like you think about a street lamp that goes like, you know, what, 50 feet up in the air or something. These are light poles, the little artsy things, like the things you see in Benson, um, you know, a little neighborhood in Omaha um, that go up maybe, you know, 20 feet. And they're putting transmitters on these poles. And I'm like, wow, that's low to the ground. You know, wow, that's a microwave transmitter, that low to the ground. Um, but then the thought occurred to me. My wife told me, you know, we should do something like this. And I thought, you know, one of the questions we get all the time in the service center is, what's the difference? On my home network, I have a 2.4 gigahertz band and I have a 5 gigahertz band. And then on my cell phone, I have 5G. Why can't I use my 5G phone on my 5G network at home? Well, that's because 5 gigahertz is different than fifth generation. So we're going to do a quick segment uh, after the commercial break here about what is 
the difference between all these different things and what are they used for? What should you put on the 2.4 gigahertz band? What should you put on the 5 gigahertz band on your home router? And, you know, your cell phone with 5G, what's the deal with that? So we're going to talk about all that coming up on the program. Also, uh, the new Windows 10 21H1 update is coming out in about a month, okay? So we're going to be uh, introducing you guys to Safe Upgrade here again real soon. So I want to give you a quick heads up about what's coming with that update, what it's going to do to your computer, uh, what you should expect from the installation, and why it's really, really, really important that you get up to the current version of Windows right now. Uh, we installed the current version of Windows 10 on about 300 computers last week. Uh, based on the, com the customers I mentioned last week, we identified like 1,700 people that needed it. We got about 300 of you done last week. But at that pace, we're going to be doing this for a while. So we've got 300 people that we did last week. We've got about 275 people we've identified who are at ultra high risk, meaning that they are currently out so far out of date, they're not getting security patches. And then the rest of you will be in that category after the next update comes out. So uh, we're reaching out to you guys. If you get calls from Schrock, if you get emails from Schrock, those are legitimate about your version of Windows being out of date. That is a legitimate thing that we will be doing in the coming week. Also, the latest ransomware attack may put some money back into your beer budget. That's right. They're coming for the breweries now. <laughs> ransomware. How much would you pay to get your beer back? All right. And of course, your calls at 888-250-2091. Dave, stay on the line. Your call is coming up next on Compute This. Schrock Innovations Data Recovery Lab saves the data the other guys can't. The next time your hard drive, camera card, or flash drive fails, let Schrock get your data back. Compute this pro tip 843. Of all computer failures, the scariest and most expensive is the hard drive. But there are some steps you can take to save money and save your data before it's too late. Detecting failures early is important, so install a free utility like Drive Advisor from driveadvisor.com to monitor your hard drive's health and receive warnings when there's a problem. But most of all, hard drive failures happen slowly, so early detection is key to reducing the repair bill. Second, if your hard drive makes any unusual noises, immediately turn off your computer and do not turn it on again. These issues are physical problems, and the more you try to use it, the worse the damage becomes. Remember that most computer repair shops do not have the specialized equipment needed to recover data from a failed drive. Never open your drive or allow anyone else to do so. Open drives always cost more to recover. Schrock does not charge for data recovery evaluations and quotes, so let the local pros look at your drive before you make any recovery decisions. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Compute this pro tip 299. There are enough mothballed computers in U.S. homes to give one to every man, woman, and child in the country. Many of these computers find their way into landfills where they can leak cadmium, lithium, and other nasty chemicals into the groundwater. Schrock Innovations is very proud of the fact that we recycle more e-waste every year than we create. You can drop off any old or broken computer equipment to our service centers at any time, free of cost. We only charge $15 just for monitors because they are especially difficult to process. No appointment is required, and we accept all computer-related equipment like printers, keyboards, speakers, and accessories. Additionally, the rare earth elements in computers can be recycled right here in the U.S. to reduce our reliance on supplies from foreign countries. Take a moment, drop off your old computer equipment today, and Schrock will make sure it's properly recycled and put to good use right here in the U.S. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. All righty, folks. Welcome back in. My name's Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company with locations in Lincoln, just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road in Omaha, 168th and Burke, across the street from the Village Point Mall, where the rent is slightly cheaper, or it used to be. I haven't looked into it in a while, but we just re-signed a lease, so I didn't want to get sad if it was you know, more expensive now. Uh, also in Papillion. Uh, we are located off of 84th and Highway 370 in the Midlands Place Shopping Center, which is an amazing place to be. If you're a business looking for a place to locate in Sarpy County, I would encourage you to take a look at Midlands Place. Just great management, great landlord, great family. Just the Dobbs do a great job of taking care of their tenants. It's amazing. Uh, and also in Des Moines, Accurate Development's little place over there at 9500 University Avenue, uh, we are in West Des Moines, Iowa there. Uh, that shop is closed on Sundays, and it closes at 6 o'clock, so the hours are a little bit different in Des Moines. It's not pandemic-related. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that's 
due to the coronavirus. I'm so tired of hearing due to the coronavirus. Due, for the protection of you, of our employees and you, blah, 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 blah. I'm so tired. Stop protecting me. I'll protect myself. I'll, meh. anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, that one, that one is a straight up staffing situation where uh, we, we have uh, Ryan's doing a great job, but we don't want to bring in a whole crew of new people at the same time because that's how bad habits spread. We want to make sure we get one guy in there trained up really solid and good habits, and then we bring in another guy under him and another guy under them. So basically it, it works out really well, but it takes a little bit of time to do. So the hours are a little restricted right now so that they have time with their families as well. 888-250-2091. Dave, thanks for hanging on the line there. How can I help you on Compute This today? Good morning, Thor, morning. and thank you for letting me get through today. Um, I had a, a great experience with Shrock Innovations in the past, but the last two times I've been there, I've had issues. Okay. Um, I took the uh, desktop and my laptop in last year when you had the free uh, maintenance check. And uh, the laptop, since his, the screen keeps blurring on me, and the desktop, when I went to put a DVD into it, the DVD drive fell inside. So I took it apart and put it back where it belonged. Uh, but my issue today is um, my secure updater was needed to be renewed, okay. and they called me, and I had it updated. But then when I got my credit card statement, I got billed for the secure updater update. And then I got billed another time for an hour of labor and the same thing again. Um, I called your uh, receptionist in Papillion because that's okay. where they referred me. And she uh, said she would get me a reference number to um, take to my bank. That was on Friday, and she said it'd take about an hour. Well, an hour and 20 minutes went by, and I called back. They still didn't have one. She said she would call. Um, obviously, it's Sunday morning. I still don't have a reference number. I never got a call back. So uh, I just wanted you to be aware because I asked her twice if you knew about this, and she said that they were having problems with their programs, that it was new. And uh, okay. if, if they're double billing, it's a real problem. Right, so I guess uh, you threw a lot of things at me at your real quick here. So let me let me try to break these down one by one. Um, so first of all, I'm sorry about any potential double charge that happened, and of course we're going to refund anything that was improperly charged to your card. So that 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 goes without saying. Um, when it comes to refunds, we necessarily restrict um, the levels and the amounts that employees can do without authorization. And the person that Nikki has to get that reference number from is one of our senior developers. And I know that he was in a meeting with, uh, with a client for the most of the day on Friday. Um, so that's probably why it didn't happen. She probably thought, Oh, I'll just get Alfonso on the phone. He'll get that. It'll, it'll be quick. Uh, but she still should have followed up with a phone call when she found out it wasn't going to be quick. Um, so that, that I apologize for, and I'll make sure I give that some attention this morning or, uh, tomorrow morning in our, in our management meeting as well. Now, as far as the DVD drive, I'm assuming that's a desktop computer the DVD drive fell into. Um, yeah, we don't we don't take those out, or when we maintenance computers, we don't loosen them or take them out. Was it a Schrock build that it fell in, or was it like an HP or something? Uh, it, it was a Dell, an older Dell. Okay. Yeah, so that, that obviously the screw uh, came loose. Dell uses a track-based mounting system that slides in to the through the front face of the computer. Um, so yeah, if if you, it sounds like you've got that taken care of pretty well, but if you did need help getting that seated again, we of course can do that. Um, and then as far as the uh, uh, the the maintenance thing, when was the last time you were in for maintenance? Was it was it a year uh, a year I ago believe, when we did the free one or? Yeah, I believe it was in February of last year. Okay, gotcha. So the last time you were in was February of last year, and then the problems surfaced with the computers recently, or was it shortly after that? Uh, it was shortly after that. Okay, gotcha. Um, that I, makes I sense. I do online presentations, and it, 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 by the time I get through my hour presentation, the screen is all blurred. Okay. Now, when you say blurred, it's like like visually, like it looks fuzzy, or? Yeah, that is correct. It, it's fuzzy. I can't, of course, my eyes aren't that good anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm more in peepers myself these days, so yeah, I hear you. Okay. So, uh, so the bottom line there is... Uh, and for anyone else listening, when we do work on a computer for you, you do have a 30-day work warranty um, where if you, you know, after you get it back from us, when we do just a maintenance checkup, about the only thing that would impact the, the visual appearance of the screen 
is uh, if we did a driver update for the graphics card, which eventually would have gotten installed anyway, but they, they kind of hang out for a year before they get installed. So when we go and do your updates, we do also install the optional updates that includes firmware updates, graphics drivers, things along those lines. Um, now, when a situation happens where a graphics card is working fine and then suddenly it's not, um, whether it's artifacting or blurring or you know anything like that, um, no, there's usually three different culprits for that. Number one is a software culprit, like a driver or some problem with that. Uh, number two is going to be a uh, like a, a, a hardware problem, like it's getting too hot, like there's no cooling. Um, and if there's not enough cooling after a long period of time, now an online presentation isn't a particularly intense thing. After a long period of time, it's going to get too hot. Um, and you know the third thing obviously is just bad hardware. It's you know if, if it, depending how old the hardware is, you know things do go bad. And unfortunately, in a laptop, you can't replace the graphics card in most cases. It's baked into the board. Um, Dave, I will look into the situation on double charging. I'm I'm not aware that we have a problem with double charging customers for anything uh, unless we click the charge button twice. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but I will find out, especially if you haven't been in in a year and you were charged for an hour of labor and you haven't been into the service center, that's not normal. Uh, so I will look into that personally on Monday and make sure that we get to the bottom of what's going on there. And I'll make sure you get a call back as well, probably from myself or from Parker. Thanks for the call, Dave. I appreciate it. 888-250-2091. All right. So uh, we, that segment is shot. So when we get back, we're going to do back to basics. <laughs> we're going to talk about network transmission types. What is 2.4 gigahertz? What is 5 gigahertz? What is 5G? And when should you use what for what? We're going to decode all of it into plain English for you coming up next on Compute This. Truck Innovations repair technicians also make house calls. Make an appointment and let us bring our award-winning computer support right to your home or business. In 1798, Eli Whitney's Connecticut Musket Factory was the first business in North America to use replaceable parts in a firearm. Before Eli's factory, if your musket broke, you had to send it away to an expert gunsmith for repairs or just toss it and buy a new musket. Technology manufacturing has come a long way since the 18th century, but you wouldn't know it by looking at today's big box store computers. Dell, HP, Sony, and other manufacturers continue to take away your freedom to upgrade and repair your computer by eliminating expansion and repair options. Some desktops are even powered by a tiny laptop adapter. Schrock Innovations believes in Eli Whitney's idea of interchangeable and replaceable components, and that's why our custom-built modular computers last longer and cost less to repair than computers computers you see at big box stores. Ask your friends and family how often they replace their box store computers and they'll probably tell you every couple of years. And what do they do with the old machines? They just get thrown out like broken muskets. Imagine a place where your computer's problems can be fixed quickly and inexpensively. Imagine keeping your computer for six years or more. You are imagining the kind of computers we build every day at Schrock Innovations. Our modular systems last longer, perform faster, and cost less over the long term than anything you can buy at a big box store. While the talented technicians at Schrock Innovations can't make you a musket even if they tried, our commitment to the freedom offered by modular computers is the modern-day extension of Eli's innovative musket factory. We think Eli Whitney would be proud, and you can take pride in owning a small piece of American innovation, the modular computer from Schrock Innovations. News, I'm Karen McHugh. The Biden administration starts focusing on the growing crisis along the southern border. DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas now saying that he'll address the, quote, record numbers of migrants arriving at our southern border, directing FEMA now to assist HHS, particularly with the migrant children. It's the first step we've really seen of the administration doing something other than undoing the Trump-era uh, policies. Fox's Griff Jenkins, a COVID-19 quarantine now in effect at a major college campus. Duke University issuing the quarantine order Saturday night for all of its undergrads because of a coronavirus outbreak caused by students who attended recruitment parties. Over the past week, there have been more than 180 positive coronavirus cases. 200 others may have been exposed and have been ordered to quarantine. Fox's Sue Guzman. America is listening to Fox News. Now, the News Radio 1110 KFAB Weather Watch. Off and on rain continues for your Sunday. It will be heavy at times and it will be very windy. A wind advisory in effect from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. with wind gusts over 50 miles per hour at times. Some snow may mix in for areas north of the Omaha metro Sunday night.
With Omaha's most accurate forecast, I'm 6 News First Alert meteorologist Mallory Schnell on News Radio 1110 KFAB. Alrighty, guys, welcome back into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company, where the ultimate upgrade sale is on. Now, this is a limited time deal. So right now, the situation is we can get the processors, or we could. I ordered these computers, the parts for them, in January. And we got them. We had to put, The sale was supposed to start March 1st. We had to push the sale back a week because the parts had just arrived in the service center and we didn't have time to build them. Then when we got uh, the, basically the barest minimums built, we got a display model for each shop and one in-stock item of each in each service center. And so, okay, we've got plenty of parts, so let's go ahead and launch the sale. We'll keep building. We literally are having trouble keeping up. We're As fast as we're building, they're selling out. Um, so we initially had 20 of each computer, uh, 20 desktops, 20 laptops. Uh, I will get them as long as I can. The desktops are going to be the big challenge. Getting those desktop processors is very, very, very difficult right now. Uh, we are literally ordering them from overseas directly. We're not going through a wholesaler. We're not going through. I mean, we're getting them direct from li literally from China. Um, it, it's stupid how we have to do this. But um, due to the coronavirus, we choose not to put you out with that information. We just take that stress on ourselves and focus on delivering you guys quality computer systems in stock when you're ready to purchase them. However, we don't have a ton of them available, so I want to be upfront about that. If you want to take a look at the Ultimate Upgrade laptop or desktop, you can check them both out at schrockinnovations.com. You just click on Shop and Specials, and they'll both be there for you to look at. The way the Ultimate Upgrade works is you trade in any old computer. We don't care what it is, how it is, how complete it is, if it works, uh, if it's a VTEC Kids laptop, if it's a Commodore 64, I don't care. We're not using parts from the old computer to make the ultimate upgrade. The ultimate upgrade is getting a new computer, right? So the ultimate upgrade is when you trade in your old, tired, and worn-out computer for a brand-new Schrock modular desktop or solid-state laptop. It is literally the least expensive time of the year to get into one of our modular computers. It will never be cheaper all year long. We do the sale every spring. Uh, it goes on for about four weeks, so we got about three weeks left. But this time we had to throw – normally we just – as many as we can sell, we just build. Um, but this time we have to throw the little asterisk on – it kind of sounds a little like the holiday special, you know, while supplies last. Um, you know, and we can take orders on back order. You know, so, yeah, we'll build one for you. It's just going to take two months to get the processor here. Uh, we do have some processors sailing, literally sailing toward us right now. Um, but exciting thing we're going to talk about during the aftershock – we have some other things that uh, just got off the boats and are heading to the service centers on trucks right now. New hardware coming in at Schrock. Schrock-specific hardware built for us, engineered by us, for you. So it's going to be cool. we got some cool stuff to talk about. You don't want to miss the aftershock here this week. All right, so let's get into these basics real quick, guys. What is a 2.4 gigahertz network? What is a 5 gigahertz network? And what is 5G? And when should you use them for what? All right, so first off, 2.4 and five gigahertz. Those are the speeds that are available from your wireless router in your home. If you have an older router or a very cheap router, you may only have a 2.4 gigahertz band. You may not have a five gigahertz band. Any modern router, the wireless AC router, should have the two bands, five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. Now, 5G is a cell phone term that means fifth generation cell phone network. It has nothing to do with the, the gigahertz or the transmission speed, 5G is fast. So people think that their 5 gigahertz at home is fast, right? That, they're not wrong. 5 gigahertz is a little bit faster than the 2.4 gigahertz, but that's where the similarity ends. The 5G signal is transmitted from cell ter transmission towers. Um, and unfortunately, 5G towers, you have to have more of them because the transmission doesn't go through walls as well and barriers and obstacles. So if you want to get good 5G coverage, you have to have a, a transmitter about every 500 feet in an urban area, uh, which is why they're putting them on the light poles at the Shadow Lake Mall is to make sure they've got them there. And we had a caller who called in who didn't want to go on the air, but she wanted me to remind everybody that radiation is bad. Um, so, yes, I'm not going to have a picnic underneath one of those light poles. You know, I'm not going to lean against that pole to smoke my cigarette. You know, I'm just I'm not going to choose to make some bad choices there. Right. Um, you know, I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to uh, to I'm not going to avoid it. I'm not going to in the UK. They have people burning these things down because they're so terrified. That's radiation. You know, there's good radiation and there's bad radiation. 
Do you know that good radiation causes vitamin D to be created in your skin from the sun? Sun is radiation. You know, the audio waves emanating from the speaker to your eardrum is radiation. It's just a different type of radiation. So, yeah, 5G radiation, I'm not going to go lick the transmitter or anything, um, but I'm not going to live in fear of it either. You know, if we've been holding cell phones against the sides of our head, I'm pretty sure that's more radiation than one of these transmitters is going to give me just driving past it. Um, now, the question is, what's the long-term exposure? We don't know, but we don't care about long-term exposure to things anymore, right? We just, we just want to be safe right now. So, anyway, I digress. Read between the lines there. I digress. But... Uh, Literally, one of the biggest things you want to know is what is the difference between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz? So when you get a smart device for your home, whether that's a ring video doorbell or a smart switch or any kind of device that's going to automate, any kind of home automation, Ryobi makes a kick butt garage door opener. Apparently, um, it's got a battery charger in the side. So all those Ryobi tools that you love from Home Depot, you can plug the batteries into the side of this garage door opener. It's a smart garage door opener. So there's an app. You can open the garage door from you know, your, your A word. I won't say it because everyone's will go off and everyone's got relative your family sleeping at home right now. Um, you say A word, open the garage door and uh, OK. And it opens the garage door. It's pretty cool stuff. But then if the power ever goes out, because that never happens, especially in Texas, if the power goes out, the Ryobi batteries act as a power source for your garage door opener. Have you ever been stuck, like when the power goes out, and you're like, where's that stupid pull cord so I can get my door open? Because you can't open the garage door with no power. So it's a pretty neat little thing. If you're going to install any 2.4, I don't even get paid by Ryobi. I need to get paid by Ryobi for saying things like this. I've, it's true, but still, you know. Anyway, I digress again. Tangent. If you, uh, this is what happens when I don't get enough sleep, all right? Like little squirrel pops into my head and I, I start going down that road and I have to be pulled back and corrected. They got a little shock button over there and they, they push it and it zaps me and I go back on track. Um, if you have any of these home automation devices, they have to be installed on a 2.4 gigahertz network. That's just how they're built. That's the transmitters they have. Wireless AC transmitters or 5 gigahertz transmitters are expensive, so they don't put them in these little devices. They put the old wireless N1s in the devices, and with good reason. The 2.4 gigahertz network is the most robust network that you can have in your home. It goes through walls. It goes through floors. It goes through people. Radiation! It goes through people. It goes through all kinds of things, and it gets to where it's going and delivers you that wholesome Netflix goodness that Peaky Blinders offers you. So... That's great, right? The, so why do we have this stupid 5 gigahertz network then? You know, what do we need that for if we have this amazing 2.4 gigahertz network? Well, 2.4 gigahertz was fine before everybody started streaming everything. So now, you know, you got a couple kids with a couple iPads and you're watching a show and, you know, there's something streaming here, there's something streaming there. And pretty soon before you know it, you know, you're, you're paying your cable company or your DSL provider for all kinds of speed but everything's got the spinning buffer thing, you know, buffering, buffering. You know, what's going on here? It's because your wireless network can't keep up on that 2.4 gigahertz channel. It can't send streaming HD video to multiple devices at the same time with the quality and consistency that you would want. So introducing 5 gigahertz technology. 5 gigahertz is roughly double 2.4 gigahertz. So you might make the assumption it's faster and you would be correct. It is faster, but it comes at a cost. So without getting into the science of it, it's about wavelengths. It's about troughs and peaks and, you know, and all that stuff. We're not going to get into that. I'm just going to tell you that 5 gigahertz doesn't go through things very well. It hits walls and it bounces off them. It hits floors, it bounces off them. It hits people and it just irradiates them. I mean, it, it's, it's bad. I'm just, I'm joking. I'm, come on. You know, it doesn't go through things is what I'm saying. So in, a, in an urban environment, you'll notice if you're out in the backyard, your wireless router, if your phone is connected to your 5G home network, it has a weak signal. But you can switch to the 2.4 gigahertz network and it has a better signal. That's because you have walls between you and the router and 2.4 goes through the walls better. So what is 5 gigahertz for? Well, you, it's faster. It's for streaming. It's for all those streaming devices you're going to hook up to the router. So here's the thing. If you have smart televisions, smartphones, anything you stream a lot of video on, when it's possible to connect to the 5G network, you should be connected to the 5G network. When you have devices that are moving about the house more often, you know, think like laptops, things like that, you should be connected to the 2.4 gigahertz network. 
Now, one uh, Ron points out on the, on the Facebook page here that uh, he had to switch to the TP Link router, the one that we offer, because he bought a really big fancy router and he and none of his his home smart devices would work. That's because some of the more expensive home routers actually combine the two networks together in what they call like smart switch technology that allows the device to access whichever network is faster, which is great for televisions. It's great for laptops. It doesn't work at all for home automation devices. They, they literally, your ring doorbell will not work on that network. So you have to separate the networks into a separate 2.4 and 5 gigahertz RTP link routers allow you to do that. So if you bought a big fancy router because your, your ring doorbell and your, your home automation switches weren't working and they're still not working, that's why. You need to buy a slightly less expensive wireless router to give you the separated networks that you need. So now I hope I bored you completely to death on the differences between all these different things. But as the lovely Kimberly reminded me, it's important once in a while that we go back to the basics and do a little teaching too. 888-250-2091. we got to take a quick break. When we come back, what to expect from the upcoming 21H1. It's even I still have trouble saying that. I still want to call it 20H2, but the 2121 half one H1 update that's coming out next month. Also, the latest ransomware attack is going to put some money back into your beer budget. We'll explain coming up next on Compute This. Update all of your third-party apps on your computer with Secure Updater. It keeps all your apps running smoothly and helps block viruses. Download it for free today at secureupdater.com. Every person listening to this broadcast has either experienced data loss or knows someone who has. When you think about it, you have a lot more data stored in many more places than you'd like to admit. Have you downloaded those videos from your phone, backed up the pictures on your iPad, or even tackled that sometimes daunting task of backing up your entire computer's hard drive? Most people just don't back up their stuff. And that's why Schrock Innovations has one of the most advanced data recovery centers in the Midwest. Equipped with the latest DDI data imaging devices, state-of-the-art custom recovery software, and Omaha's best data recovery technicians, Schrock Innovations has a 96.8% success rate when recovering data from damaged hard drives, flash drives, camera cards, and more. We all know we should back up our data, but if you are ever caught in a data loss nightmare, call the experts at Schrock Innovations to get your data back right where it belongs, safe and backed up on a stable hard drive. Compute This Pro Tip 578. Technology is constantly changing, so how can you tell when the time has come to recycle your old outdated computer and invest in a new one? Experts have rules of thumb and formulas, but Schrock believes the answer is simple. You should replace your old computer when it can no longer do the things you need in a secure way. For example, you should not be using operating systems like Windows XP or Vista because they're no longer maintained by Microsoft and they're not secure. And if your computer cannot run Windows 10, it's probably time to begin saving for a replacement. If your existing computer requires a repair and that cost is 50% or more more of the cost of a new computer, it might be time to consider a replacement. But keep in mind, additional costs like data transfers and important software you have to upgrade like genealogy software or Quicken. And also keep in mind that modern computers are engineered to last 18 months for a normal user. And don't worry, you are considered a normal user. Schrock modular PCs and solid-state laptops are specifically designed to last four to six years for that same normal user, saving your family money and time. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Alrighty, guys, welcome back into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock, final segment of the show today. But don't worry, the show continues after the top of the hour on Facebook at facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. I suspect that during the after Schrock, we're going to have a lot of people tuning in who changed their clocks or failed to change their clocks. 888 250 2091. That's the number to join us on the program. Ask a question, make a comment. We'll put you in the drawing for a $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. Only one person in that kitty right now, so you got a pretty good shot there. All right, so what's coming from the new 21H1 update from Microsoft? Now, we've seen a trend over the past few years with these updates where Microsoft uses the spring update to lay groundwork, to, to, to provide infrastructure for what will be a much larger and more robust fall update. And that is definitely the case here as well. So basically, this update isn't going to do a whole lot to your computer. Um, the things that it's going to do, number one, is it's going to increment the version number, <laughs> which sounds like, oh, geez, Thor, that's a huge update. Why do they even have to do it? 
Well, the reason it's important is when they increment that version number, if your computer gets too many versions behind on Windows 10, you no longer receive security patches. And I can tell you that there's about 800 customers of Schrock Innovations right now that are literally perfect customers. They do their maintenance. They come in for the sales. You know, they, they do what they're running, Schrock hardware. They are literally total Schrock customers. And if they don't do their 20H2 update soon, this is going to put them behind enough to stop them from getting security updates. So literally, these are people who are running Sophos, guys. These are people who take their security really seriously. So take a moment to please check to see if your computer is running 20H2. To check this, if you just right-click in the lower left-hand corner of your computer, not, not left-click, but right-click, um, that's going to make a little menu pop up. And then just left-click on the word system. So right-click on start, left-click on system. This is just a shortcut that opens up your About Your Computer page, and about midway down, it'll say Windows 10 version 1909 is okay. 1909 was the was 20H2 before it was cool to call it 20H2. So either one of those two is fine, but anything before that, 2004, 1909, um, you know, any anything smaller than 20H2 or 2009. Either of those two numbers, anything smaller than that is bad. And you want to get updated to the most recent version. Of course, we can help you do that. It's $85 if we do it for you. Otherwise, you can do it through Windows Update. It's supposed to automatically happen. Now, this update was released last October. If you don't have it by now, I can tell you it's not going to automatically happen. It's just it's too long. Um, and you won't get 21H1 either because if the last one won't install, the next one won't. Why does that happen? When Microsoft pushes out these updates... They're making changes to the Windows operating system. This is like getting an entire new version of Windows. When they make these changes, it causes things to break. Old things. Things that worked forever that Microsoft has forgotten or doesn't care about anymore. And when those things break, that causes people to come into our service centers and they have to pay an hour of labor, 115 bucks, for us to fix whatever got broken. It happens to the same people over and over and over. I swear it does because they get more and more angry and more and more angry and they keep coming back into Schrock and they're like, this is ridiculous that I have to spend $115 every time Microsoft pushes out an update. Well, you know, <laughs> it is ridiculous, but we end up being the target for that anger and not Microsoft and that's not fun. So we created a product called Safe Upgrade. When we put this on sale in the coming weeks, it's the, it's going to help you shepherd your computer through the 2.1H1 update, which isn't going to do a whole heck of a lot. Um, but the stuff that's going to happen in the next version of Windows 10 is going to be major. So literally, this update is laying groundwork. Um, it's called a scoped set of features. That's a fancy way of saying that the handful of new features in this update are extremely obscure. Um, how many Windows 10 installations have both an internal and external infrared camera used for Windows? Well, 2.1H1 will help you with that problem. If you have an external thermal camera hooked up to your computer, you know, like a, like a thermal scope, why would, why would you have a scope? On, well, okay. Um, biometric authentication is what it's going to mess with primarily. It's going to help you log into your computers with different camera types. Um, so anyway, a lot of really obscure stuff in this update, nothing that's going to impact your day-to-day -day life, aside from the fact that, number one, when this update does install, if you have anything wrong with your computer, it's pretty much going to cause it to blue screen or not restart or bring you into the service center for an hour of labor. And number two, it's going to increment that version number, and that's why we are focused so heavily this month on making sure that every single customer is on 20H2, also known as AKA 2009. Either one of those updates, September of 2020 or second half of 2020, they're the same update. You need one or the other to make sure that your computer is current and you'll get the 21H1 update next month. 888-250-2091. Jim, welcome to the program. How can I help you on Compute This? Yes, do you sell um, tablets? You know, we have in the past. Uh, we had our own line of Schrock tablets, both Android and Windows-based. Um, we stopped selling Android tablets because it just wasn't compatible with what we do. Um, you know, we, we sell modular computers. We sell systems that last six to eight years. Um, unfortunately, in the disposable tablet industry, there is no such thing as a tablet that lasts six to eight years. It can't be done. Um, and we thought we could rewrite the rules and break the rules, and uh, we literally tried. Uh, and it, it cannot be done. 
Um, because of the way technology changes and marches, if your tablet gets too old, the App Store cuts you off. Without apps, your tablet doesn't do what you want it to do. Why do you have the tablet? You have to buy a new one. Um, and customers weren't real happy with us when they had to come buy a new modular tablet You know, two years later when their modular computer has lasted them 10 years. So we decided to stop selling Android tablets because it just wasn't compatible with what we do. But that left us with Windows tablets, which was awesome. So we were selling Windows tablets, doing great there. Uh, we literally sold out of the tablets. You know, the, the tablets have, have, I think they've passed their prime. Um, the pe people who want to have an iPad have an iPad. People who want to have a, a tablet have a tablet. People who want to have a computer learn during the pandemic that you cannot, you cannot work from a tablet. Two-in-one computers are great where you can pull the tablet off the keyboard and walk away with it. It's still just a tablet with a keyboard attached to it. Literally, we made them. I, I know that. It's, it's literally a joke. Um, so people are starting to figure that out. And when they, figure that, when they figured that out during the pandemic, that's why you know, in the month of March last year, we sold computers literally by the dozen. Because people who had gotten rid of their home computers and said, oh, I'm just going to work from my tablet now. I can do it everything from an iPad anyway. Or I just use my phone for most things now. Suddenly realized that uh, tablets and phones are great for consuming product, but they're not so hot for creating it or interacting with it. Um, so anyway, uh, long story short, we don't really sell our own tablets anymore. Of course, if you were looking for a tablet and you needed someone to help you walk through that process, we'll help you identify a tablet that meets your needs. Um, for high-quality tablets, you're either going to buy a Samsung or an iPad. Those are pretty much your choices. Uh, everything else is, is, a, is a shade different. Uh, like Asus tablets are great. You know, they're, they're not bad tablets. Uh, they're not as good, in my opinion, as the Samsung ones, but they're not bad. Um, you know, Panasonic tablets, you know, Fuji tablets – that you, you know, the, the $79 tablets on Black Friday at Walmart, not so hot, wouldn't recommend them. Hope that answers the question, Jim. Thanks for the call today. I appreciate you joining us on the program. All right, so the story you've all been sticking around for on your Sunday morning. Molson Coors discovers cyber attack disrupting its brewery operations, or discloses, not discovers. Excuse me, because I'm like, discovers? Like, hmm, tink, tink, tink. The beer's not coming out anymore. <laughs> What's going on? Is it a cyber attack? That's what I say when my tap runs dry. Now, Molson Coors uh, disclosed a cyber attack that is, dis is currently disrupting their brewery op uh, operations. Um, they're bringing in an outside forensic IT firm to investigate the breach, um, but they say that delays in shipments of beer are going to happen. Um, so if you drink any of the brands made by Coors, which I didn't realize that, uh, that Coors made so many brands here. Let me see if I can find their... Uh, they operate a huge portfolio of beer brands, including the iconic Coors and Miller brands, as well as Molson Canadian, Blue Moon, Peroni, Grolsch. Never even heard of that. I guess, you know, you stop drinking for eight years and all of a sudden you don't know the names of beer anymore. Um, Killian's and Foster's. So if you drink any of those beers, you might want to go. You might want to have a uh, let's just call it a coronavirus flashback party. Grab yourself a couple cans of soup and a pack of toilet paper while you're there, too, just for old time's sake, and go pick up your beer because you may not be able to get it for a week or two uh, just because there's a, a disruption, a ransomware attack, it sounds like. Um, they're not saying exactly what the problem is. But when your company says something along the lines of, the company is working around the clock to get its systems back up as quickly as possible. Although the company is actively managing the cybersecurity incident, it has caused uh, and may continue to cause a delay or disruption to parts of the company's business, including brewery operations, production, and shipments. In other words, all of their computers are broke all at once. There's only one kind of cyber attack that does that, and it's a ransomware attack. It's the same thing I warned you guys about. I'm telling you, they had one point of entry on this network somewhere. One computer that they said, oh, that doesn't need protection. One guy, one dude with the BYOD, bring your own device. Not bring your own beer. Bring your own device. It's a D, not a B. Flip it around. All right, come on. This is third grade. BYOD, bring your own device. He brought his computer from home, didn't have antivirus, or had something like McAfee or Malwarebytes or AVG installed on it. And sure enough, infected, brought it into work. Spread across the network, just like we warned about last week. And all of a sudden, you've got this. Now, this is the kind of thing that's kicking hospitals in the can when, when hospitals go down with this stuff. But now that it's hit a brewery, is that a bridge too far? I don't know. You, you attack the hospital, you got to put off your, you know, like when UNMC got hit by this thing, you had to put off your treatments by a day or two. But you, you attack the beer, I think they may have crossed, uh, crossed the Rubicon here because uh, 
<laughs> People aren't going to stand for that. Nope, not at all. All righty, guys. So uh, I want to remind everybody, stay tuned for the Aftershock coming up here uh, after the program, after the top of the hour on Facebook.com slash Shrock Innovations. Of course, we're going to update you on the latest Bitcoin prices during that show. We're going to talk about the new hardware that's coming into the service centers uh, that is trucking toward us right now. We've been waiting for it for quite a while. Um, and basically anything else you want to talk about, it will be kind of a shorter one. I have to be home. Uh, my son is getting a dog. So he's getting a golden retriever puppy, and so they're, they're going to pick up the puppy, and I have to be home to watch the little so they can go get the puppy. Because we promised him, like, you know, five years ago that once, once my daughter was potty trained, he could have a dog, and, you know, things just got out of hand, okay? We just didn't get around to it. All right, today's winner, $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate is Jim. Congratulations, Jim. You have $25 in your account there. Addy will get that added to your Schrock account so you can use that in the service center anytime it's convenient for you. Uh, also, I want to remind everybody that we do work on Max. Uh, I was over at Village Point Mall the other day, and I saw the line outside the Max store of people standing outside. There's probably people standing in the rain right now. Um, you don't have to do that. You can just bring it to Schrock, and we'll fix it for you. Uh, so we do work on Max. Also, install Drive Advisor. 14.9% is the current detection rate of all hard drives that are scanned are bad. Install Drive Advisor. Make sure that your hard drive is not near failure. It's a free service we offer. Take advantage of it. We'll see you all again next weekend for another edition of Compute This. This is News Radio 1110 KFAB Omaha. Online at KFAB.com. On your phone with the iHeartRadio app. And on hundreds of devices like Alexa, Google Home, Xbox, and Sonos.